Are you smart, bro? Are you smart? Yo, you good, bro? Yo, what? <laughs> Hit an emo. Hit an emo. Hit an emo. Missing 6'4", 17-year-old boy who left the house and never came back. Just like the time when you randomly reach inside your own pocket and you find $5 of your own money. Puts a, shocks you. Puts a smile on your face. Just like this guy's big brother who randomly went on the internet one day. He wanted to watch a stream while he was eating his food. And he ram randomly found his little brother who's been missing for three months after weeks and weeks of searching for him all hope were lost he was almost declared dead until he randomly just popped up on the internet out of nowhere trolling in a twitch stream this is a true miracle and if you do not believe in miracles you are a stupid okay let's say this whole thing is a coincidence it just randomly popped up and randomly dots were connected you sure what about the video I made two, three weeks ago about the 28 inch shit, girthy, juicy shit of that woman? Even after that video, if you still don't believe in miracles, you are in denial. Anyways, getting back to this story, we got to start from the beginning. Jonah Hill Jr. and Channing Tatum Jr. I call these two a dynamic duo, the 20th Jump Street. They were just chilling, eating and streaming in a restaurant in Miami until a very bizarre looking boy who looks homeless walks up to them. Yeah, we are, we are 50 people. Are you smart? Yo, you good, bro? Yo, what? Nah, you good? Oh, nah, Yo, you what? off the jaw, huh? <laughs> you off the jaw. Who is this? Yo, wrong dap up, bro. That's wrong. wrong hit of dap up. You got a boss spot? Yo. What? Hey, he's clean. Yo, what's good? Can we show Let's go, bro. Yes, we're ready to order. Okay. Let's go, bro. Valid. Who is this man? <laughs> now one look at this guy and you immediately think that bro woke up with his face in the sand and he he snorted illegal sugar with his butthole for breakfast. Unfortunately, we see how things are the way they are on the internet. We judge too quick and we're just very, very horrible human beings. But he wasn't on sugar. He wasn't on any type of crack mac. Teriyak, Molly, Chini, Z, Me, X, whatever the hell these drugs are nowadays. It wasn't any of them. He he's actually has a very serious mental illness called schizophrenia now i know this is going to come as a shock to you but i don't know what that word means but fortunately i have my friend google and he's going to be explaining it to us schizophrenia is a serious mental illness that affects how a person thinks feels and behaves what does schizophrenia do to a person it gives them delusions false beliefs hallucinations seeing and hearing things that do not exist usually physical behavior and disorganized thinking and speech long story short feeling the zaza but not being on the zaza Bro's name is Troy. He's been suffering with this mental disorder for since the beginning. Him and his family live in Michigan and in mid of May, bro went out of the house and he never came back. 21st of May of this year, 2024, he was declared missing. Until out of nowhere, he randomly appeared on Lacey's stream. He's getting a bad angle. He getting a bad angle? Can Yo, I do that is real. Can I do this one? What do you, oh, you, you say? Okay. What? Yo, are you good? I'm a Spartan. No, you are not, dude. Show us, show us an emo. Hit an emo. Hit, 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 hit an hit emo. emo. Bye, now, obviously, the boys from 20th Jump Street seeing this guy for the first time, they're going to think it's Miami. People do wild things. They're not going to assume. No one will assume that bro has a mental disorder. He, they're just, just going to think he's high on sugar and he's homeless. Now, personally, I've never met or have anyone in my life who's suffered from schizophrenic, but his actions is basically how they are feeling the Zaza without being on the Zaza. It has a little bit of mixture with ADHD as well because he's changing subjects left and right and he's just doing random things. And these 23 jump boys are just having fun with it. And I, again, they didn't know about this whole situation. And if it wasn't for them, spoiler alert, he would have never be reunited with his family. Go, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hit the disco. Yeah. Hit it. Hit the disco. Hit the disco. <laughs> I'm good. 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 i Yo, that's the bullshit, bro. Wait, are you doing this? Yeah. 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 Oh, I can't do it now. What about a two out of ten that one? I don't know what to do that. Yeah, no, no, no. Yo, are you good, bro? Oh, my goodness. 
Anyways, shortly after the stream, he was uh, Lacey was emailed with a very, very strong subject. The subject of the email said, missing child on stream. The person said, hello, my name is Trent Coleman, and my missing little brother from Michigan was on Clicks and Lacey's stream in Miami. He was wearing green shorts, and they were making fun of him. <laughs> All right, I don't know if this was necessary, but probably bro wanted to go into specifics to make sure it was that one person. Because apparently they met a lot of guys in green shorts. He's not on drugs. He is... Oh, fuck, I'm just going to skip this word. And he's 17 years old. If someone can contact me about this, I will be so thankful. He has been missing for three months, and his case was put on homicide in Michigan. For those of you who are not aware on homicide, when a case is put on homicide, they are almost declared dead. Sent from iPhone. And in 3rd of July, Lacey posted this saying, Yesterday on stream, he came up to me and clicks, and now his family knows that he's alive and he's in Miami. I wasn't sure if I should make this public, but I'm hoping somehow this helps him be found for his family. And an update the next day, Lacey said, we got in contact with his brother and told him he was at a hotel that he said that he was staying on stream. He has been found and placed in holding in a cell in Miami until he gets transferred back to Michigan with his family. The power of internet is insane. Thank you, guys. Now, God knows how both survived in three months. Where did he get money? Where did he get food? Where did he sleep? Especially with his mental disorder, he was in a lot of danger. And thankfully, thanks to the stream, which was completely random and accidentally... He was found by his family and Michigan Police Department thanked everyone who was involved in this. He was held in a cell in Miami and finally reunited with his family. It's a happy ending. It's a true happy ending in this situation, but the only person who didn't get a happy ending was Megatron, where she was abandoned by her parents and siblings when she was one month old. So as someone who went through the same experience and also has a mental disorder called zero brain cells, Megatron would like to share some words about her experience. Truly a very, very sad story, and as you can see, she's going through a very hard time being away from her siblings and her parents. And if her siblings and parents are watching this video, I am not giving her back to you. No, she's not kidnapped, but she's being held against her own will. Anyways, I just thought this whole video was really interesting and the, wanted to share this whole thing with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. If you're new here and you enjoyed these daily yapping sessions, make sure to drop a sub. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.